Hi, I'd like to tell you about making dry point intaglio prints using acrylic plates. Um, what you're going to want to get first are a few supplies. First of all, you want to get the plate. What I have here is a very flexible, thin acrylic plate. You can use one of these that you can buy like at an art store, or you can use just a regular plexiglass plate that you could buy at any um, home, home repair kind of store. You're also going to want a couple of sketches or drawings that you're going to work from. A scribe or some sort of a tool with a sharp point at the tip. And then it's handy to have some tape nearby as well. So with these plates, there's a protective blue covering, uh, plastic covering over the surface on both sides. So the first thing you'll want to do is just peel that off and go ahead and peel away the other side. And you'll see that it's just a clear plastic plate underneath. For the image, I started off with this sketch, but as you can see, this was actually made for a different project. It was a square format and had some text on it. So what I decided to do was reformat it to fit the plate that I'm working on. So now this is actually uh, rectangular instead of square. And I want you to notice that I also flipped the um, text so that it's reading backwards. So any text that you put onto the plate with this process needs to be backwards in order for it to print correctly. So what I like to do is use just a little bit of tape to tape the image to the plate so that it stays put while I'm working and doesn't shift around. Now I might need to move these out of the way later on in order to scratch my image into that area. But for now, these are nice and out of the way. Now what you want to do is just use your sharp tip scribe. Really any kind of uh, nice pointed sharp scratching tool will work for this process. And you're just going to start scratching into the surface of the plate to create grooves that are going to catch the ink. So what I have is a small proof that I've made that I can use to show you what I mean by the groove. So there are some scratches that have been made into this plate where I did a little bit of cross hatching here, some wavy lines, and just a very rudimentary kind of a value scale right here. And every scratch that I make in the plate holds the ink and uh, so does the burr that comes up so when you put a scratch into a plate it kind of pushes the material out of the way and creates these two burrs so it actually catches material in the groove and on either side of the burr so it's kind of a soft line so I just wanted to show you here a few scratches and now I'm just gonna get to work scratching lines into this plate Well, I'd like to point out that I've put some textures and patterns into areas that I would like to have a slightly different look. So for instance, where you have the rabbit, I try to replicate fur by making very short, small strokes to create kind of that fur look. And then like in the boat here, I've created some wood texture kind of lines with these knot holes in place. So what I'm trying to do is create some textures and patterns to create some interest in the image. And what I'd like to do now is just take a peek at how the plate looks. So what I can do is just peel off one side and you can kind of see a little bit of the image showing through on the plate itself. And I think right now I'm at a good place to do a proof print. So what I'm gonna do is take this um, over to the printing area, ink it up and make a proof print see how the print looks and then come back and work more into it if it needs um, a little bit more work.